Hey, BDC Live, Courtney here from the Office of Student Involvement. Uh, throughout the course of the day, you've probably seen we're uh, bringing to you interviews with a number of different students to talk about their outside of the classroom experience. So next I'm joined by Pont from Captain's Council on the men's basketball team just to talk a little bit about what his experience has been like. So Pont, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, so to get started here, how about you tell us a little bit about you? So who you are, where you're from, what you're majoring, and, and what you're involved in here on campus. Absolutely. So my name is Pontelis Xivias. As you can see on the screen, it's a very difficult name, a Greek name, kind of unique. So most people just call me Pont. It's a lot easier. Um, I'm a member of the DePaul basketball team, the men's basketball team here, and I'm also a member of the captain's council. I serve as a treasurer on the board, and I'm really having a good time doing that as well. Um, you know, I just really enjoyed DePaul athletics as a whole, and I'm, I'm really loving it so far. Yeah. Pont, you forgot your most imp important title of official hype guy to the, to the, I'll, 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 one of my favorite articles last year, I think it was from ESPN, right? Uh, did a, a full feature on you as the hype guy, right? Yeah, absolutely. They did. I am the, I, I don't like to self-proclaim the title, but I do appreciate the title. Yeah. It's one of the things though I miss most about attending men's basketball games is just seeing you on the sideline. I wish like, you know, for the FS1 and Fox broadcast, like they, just go a little bit further so that they can we can see the whole team too. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure, regardless, I'm going to continue to bring the hype. Yeah, that's great. Well, you know, today we're here talking about camp captain's council and, and a little bit about what that experience has looked like. So uh, for our viewers who might not be familiar with it, can you just give us an overview of what it is uh, camp captain's council does? Absolutely. So currently we, well, as, as usual, you know, we try to serve our, you know, DePaul Athletics as a whole, you know, try to improve whatever we can possibly improve, especially during times like this. You know, things are very difficult for everybody, not just DePaul Athletics, but, you know, us included. So we're trying to make that better for everybody. We're also kind of raising awareness for initiatives, you know, surrounding Black Lives Matter and, you know, other major, you know, key talking points today. So we're really trying to better the community and do everything we can for not only just DePaul Athletics, but for, you know, Chicago and our community as a whole. Yeah. So Captain's Council, correct me if I'm wrong here. So it's the, it's the grouping of the 15 captains from like our 15 different varsity sports here at DePaul. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So how have you all served as an advocate and voice for students throughout the pandemic? Just to talk uh, about what the experience has been like for students in this mostly remote environment. Sure. Yeah. So we've been trying to put together different initiatives, you know, for us so that we can represent our student athletes, um, you know, what, whatever that may be, because we know the times are tough for everybody. So we've been trying to, uh, you know, one thing that we've been tasked specifically as of recently is all the captains are getting together. And our, our major project right now is getting feedback from every single team, you know, not just the captains, but also everybody within the teams and, um, you know, getting feedback of what are you, you know, what, what would help you right now? What would help us as a team? Um, you know, whether it's, you know, extra support, um, you know, if we need more courses, let's say for, you know, the, the, just our well-being, you know, some, some wellness check-ins, whatever the case may be. Um, we're currently collecting feedback for, for that, um, you know, from everybody so that, and, you know, in an effort to, uh, you know, make everything better for everybody during these tough times. Yeah. Well, and I think that's so important right now, especially, you know, it, there's so many parts of the student experience that have pivoted so much. And, you know, it, it's hard, I imagine, for student athletes, like, to a certain degree that this has to happen in person, you know, and we know, obviously, we've had some shutdowns uh, for COVID protocols with men's basketball, women's basketball, a number of our athletic teams. Um, so it, it's just interesting to hear about how you all, even in those shutdowns and, and during different times, continue to meet and and talk through some of it and, and how Captain's Council advocates for you all. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's very powerful. And, and for me, at least, and from the feedback that I've been receiving from others, I think it's very helpful for us to meet during these times, whether it be, you know, over Zoom currently because of the current situations that we're in. Um, you know, I, I think it's comforting to be able to talk to everybody and we can see others, you know, hey, we're all in the same boat here. So let's try to make the most of it and be as positive as possible. And I think it's comforting. Yeah. So one of the other things, Pan, I wanted to ask you about is this United is One campaign. I know that um, it, it was something that really, it, at least my understanding of it, it's something that came from the students and came from Camp Captain's Council, uh, it, and it was to support and amplify the work and the voice of the Black Lives Matter movement. So I'm just curious if you can tell, tell our viewers a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So our Captain's Council has been really focused in on that because, you know, over the past well, for, forever, but really, you know, it's been pinpointed, you know, over the past, especially during the pandemic, you know, that this is a, a major issue. So everybody got together, you know, starting with the board of the captain's council. And now we're, you know, kind of broadening our horizons and, you know, being able to include everybody in this, you know, we're 
really trying our best, you know, to raise awareness really is, is the, you know, the best thing that we can possibly do, um, you know, to those who may not be fully understanding of the situation or, you know, whatever the case may be. So we're trying to do that. You know, we're trying to, you know, make t-shirts, raise awareness on social media, run campaigns, everything that we can possibly do, you know, to educate others and to make a difference. So that's been really rewarding and I've loved being a part of it. Yeah. Well, and it's been great to see, especially, you know, DePaul as a member of the Big East Conference. If you watch the games right now, you can see the BLM as like patches and, and uh, stripes on all of the different jerseys. But it's more than just, you know, that that patch. Like I know that there's a number of different uh, uh, DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion trainings that the Big East has been doing and that DePaul has been really amplifying. So um, it's great to see the Captain's Council threading that throughout your experience this year, especially in, in this remote environment. Absolutely. It's been very rewarding. And we've had, you know, conversations not only within the Captain's Council, but like you said, our, our, our DIE board, you know, we have uh, our DEI board, excuse me. We have, you know, members of the staff that are also communicated with, you know, let's say coaches, players, everybody's really getting together and starting with this conversation, which is really important. So, you know, it's been very rewarding to be able to have these conversations with everybody. Yeah. Well, Pat, this has been great. It's been great hearing from you and just getting to know a little bit about you and your experience. But um, do you have any final parting words that you'd like to share with folks or perhaps how they can follow you all and, and get more information? Absolutely. Yeah. So my personal Instagram is a uh, Pontelise Xivias, just how it is on the screen. I know that's probably a tough um, name to spell, but if you need the help, it's right there. Um, my Twitter is also the same. And then, um, I mean, and as, as far as parting words go, I just want to let everybody know, stay positive, um, bring the hype. That's what I do. And it works. So I really just really emphasize that, especially during these times of whatever you want to call it, because this has been an interesting past year, really. And, um, you know, everybody's been staying positive. So I admire everybody for that. Yeah. Well, great. Well, Pont, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Uh, to our BDC Live viewers, uh, continue to tune, tune in for these interviews throughout the day. Um, and, you know, we'd be remiss if we didn't shout out the men's basketball program. You can uh, catch all of the schedules and find out more about when they're competing uh, at DePaulBlueDemons.com and find out when all of our sports are, are, are competing. It, it, obviously, men's and women's basketball is in full swing right now, but we've got a number of different sports that are starting to kick off here uh, really in February on forward. Uh, some of our fall sports pivoted and then we've got a full uh, range of activities. Like I know softball's kicking off. I think soccer is going to be competing a little bit too, um, but be sure to head over to DePaulBlueDemons.com to check it out and find more. Um, but we hope you all stay safe and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye everybody.